introduced it in the house again. We control the house. <coughs> that pass is coming over. We're going to hear it again on Monday. During the testimony, Scott Gessler came in. He's the Secretary of State. And when I passed that bill to require proof, proof of legal residency to be able to vote, uh, to be able to get a driver's license, I did not realize that the DMV was going to actually put into their database that you have to say where you're, why you're here. You're here on a student visa, you're here on a work visa, you're here on whatever it is, and they would put that reason into the database. So we know every person that has a driver's license, that's a legal resident of the United States, why they have a driver's license. Well, Scott Gessler, Secretary of State, bumped that up against the voter file. And guess what he found out? 16,000 legal residents that are not supposed to be registered to vote are registered to vote in the state of Colorado. Some of them may have become citizens, may have gone on and got a green card and become citizens, but probably not the majority. And of those, 7,000 of them have actually voted. Do you think they're voting for our candidates? Absolutely not. And he actually just bumped that back to 2006. Well, I passed that bill in 2002. So how many people do you think are actually in that bill? Those are only legal residents, people who came here legally. Imagine how many people are here illegally and how many people are registered to vote. Ken Buck lost by 19,000 votes in the last election cycle. That could have been the difference right there. I feel passionately that our country is on the 